Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about force on a current carrying conductor when it is in a magnetic field. Okay. So here it is the setup shown that the current is flowing in this direction. Okay. And it is a magnet also adjusted here so the displacement of the road of this road so it deflected here means there is a force that is exerted on this road that is why it is moving okay so I can say that the displacement of the road in this activity suggests that that a force is exerted on the current carrying current carrying aluminium rod okay so here is a uh, displacement of this road is in this direction okay when it is placed in a magnetic field when it is placed in a magnetic field okay so now we will find out the direction of the uh, force exerted by using Fleming's left hand rule so what Fleming left hand rule says us is that the first three fingers that is first the thumb let's say it is the thumb and the forefinger and the other fingers middle finger okay so it is shown like this so the thumb is like motion it is field magnetic field and it is current or you can also draw like this this is field means all the three fingers are perpendicular to each other okay so this is carrying current so you can check the direction of the force by using the Fleming's left hand rule so let's say if the field is in uh, let's say this is y direction y axis and this is x axis so the force will be exerted in z axis okay students so this is how the force is always perpendicular to the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field okay so according to this rule stretch the thumb forefinger and the middle finger of your left hand such that they are mutually perpendicular to each other and if the first finger points in the direction of the magnetic field as shown in here okay and the second finger in the direction of the current then the thumb will point in the direction of motion or the force acting on the object okay so this is how we can find out the direction of the force on an object so students I hope that you are pretty clear about what is Fleming's left hand rule okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section student I will be happy to help you guys there and in the next lecture we will discuss about electric motor so stay tuned for the le next lecture students happy learning thank you